Hey, what's up? This is Ben with Wad Prep, and today we're gonna talk about how to clean more weight. So there's one specific problem that I tend to see a lot of beginner Olympic lifters make. So if you're someone who's trying to lift more weight in the clean, whether it's a power clean, or most importantly, probably a full clean or a squat clean, as some people call it, then this video is gonna help you out. But really quick, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to wadprep.com. We have a bunch of free training material that you can download. We have the ultimate guide to pull-ups, bar muscle-ups, ring muscle-ups, double-unders, all of those you can get for free. Just go to wadprep.com to download it. All right, CJ, talk to me about the biggest mistake or one of the biggest mistakes you see people make in the clean. Yeah, I definitely think it's gonna be uh, letting the bar come up and then crash down on them. Yeah, I call so, it as getting crushed. Right, getting crushed, pancakes. So Ben's gonna demonstrate what that looks like. Ben's a great demonstrator. Go ahead. So up, boom. That was good. That was that was good. Thank yeah, you. that was nice. So, as you as you see, the bar comes up, and what's happening is is the bar is getting above his shoulder line, so he comes up. The bar is coming really tall, and then it's crashing down. Okay, and then it kind of looks the same in the power clean. It's coming up around the face somewhere, and then it's hitting the shoulders. So it kind of just. Boom, yep, just like that. That was good, that was a good demo. I think the reason people do this is because a common cue that maybe beginner coaches will make is like, you gotta pull the bar higher. Like, pull it higher. The higher you can pull the bar, the better. I know when I first started lifting, that was what I thought. But the problem you run into, especially when it gets heavy, is you can probably pull the weight really high, but if you pull above your shoulders, that shelf that we need to make when we catch the clean, when you pull above the shoulders, the weight goes up, and then it comes crashing down. And I don't know about you, but if I'm cleaning near my one rep max, there's no way I'm gonna be able to catch it as it's falling down to the ground, right? I need to meet it. Yeah, right, we gotta meet the bar. Okay, cool. So how do, how do we train it? Uh, we have two options. So uh, Ben's favorite drill, which is what we're gonna go over, is the coach or something standing right in front of the athlete to prevent them from letting the bar swing out. One of the biggest mistakes you'll see why it comes up and over is that looping factor because it swings out away from them. So Ben's gonna do a clean. He's gonna keep it real close to his body. Okay, he doesn't wanna hit me, right? Yeah. He, li he likes me too much. It's, right. very, it's very awkward for the athlete and especially if you're a coach watching this, um, it feels a little risky for yourself, but simply even, you don't even have to stand as close as he got. You can be kind of far away, but just being there and saying, hey, don't hit me to the athlete, a lot of times you're gonna find that instead of shortening their rep and letting the bar come way out here and then crushing them on the shoulders, they're naturally gonna be like, I need to get away from you. And they're gonna keep the bar a lot, lot closer. Sorry to interrupt this message, but I have a special announcement from my dog. Murphy would like to tell you that you need to hit the subscribe button down there. Thank you. All right, so now the second drill is not really a drill, but it's more of just like the awareness of like how to actually meet the bar, right? So practicing uh, muscle cleans, um, power cleans with light weight, and understanding that this is not acceptable and that we actually want to pull here to the shoulder, not above the shoulder, is pretty much the second drill. And it's just really going to be hammering, practicing the movement pattern of just getting here and turning over instead of here and dropping. Right, so especially when you start adding weight, it's one thing to practice dropping under the bar if you're using uh, you know, just a barbell or a dowel or a PVC pipe or something like that. But when the weight starts to get heavy, you need to meet the bar at the depth required for you to receive the weight. So if it's a really easy clean, especially if you've ever watched like a, a true Olympic weightlifter, if it's a very light weight, they're, they're gonna tend to lift the bar like this and then just land naturally in their front squat and stand, right? They, they don't need to um, falsely drop all the way underneath the bar because that's just going to train you to get crushed by the weight. So think about meeting the bar with your shoulders. If you think about it, it's a lot easier for me to receive the bar at the apex as high as possible yep. rather than letting the bar go up and then letting gravity crash the weight down on my front rack position. So half the battle is just being aware that this is a problem. A great way to check it out is to watch yourself on video, especially from the side. If you watch yourself in slow motion, you can see if that bar is coming way, way up and then crashing down to your shoulders. Another way to tell if this is a problem is if you have a tendency, I know I've demonstrated a couple times, I'll do it one more time. If you have a tendency to lift the weight and then the bar just, crushes your T-spine. Like you, you're, you're trying to stand up as hard as you can and it just folds you forward and you come crashing down to the floor. 
you might be over pulling the bar, which causes that crashing effect or the, or the, the smashing effect of the barbell. So hopefully this video gives you a couple cues and a couple tips so that you're aware if you're making this mistake. Again, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you go to wadprep.com. We have lots of free training guides, things about shoulder mobility, double unders, I already mentioned a bunch of them. Go there and check it out. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. And question of the day, what is the next barbell specific video you want us to release? We haven't done too much in the way of barbells on our YouTube channel. Let us know what you want next and we'll make it happen. Peace.